In this modulation tutorial, we're going to be looking at FSK or frequency shift keying. Now, FSK is a means of modulating a digital waveform onto a carrier. And the, the digital stream of data, it's called frequency shift keying because all it does is change between two frequencies depending on whether it's a logic level 1 or a logic level 0. So up here I have a, a bit stream uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And the way that FSK works is quite simply a 0 is represented by one waveform and here that waveform is here and a 1 is represented by another waveform, this one up here. Now if you think back to what I said on the other modulation tutorials around how a waveform is created, if you're not familiar with this, up here we have this is our basic waveform here, where this is the amplitude of the wave, in this case 15 volts, it's a sine wave, and here is our frequency. So a logic 1 will be represented by a sine wave of 15 volts in amplitude and 5 hertz. And a logic level 0 in this particular case will also be represented by a waveform a sine wave of 15 volts but in this case it'll be 2 hertz. So if we look at this data stream here we can see that the first bit of data is a 0 so it will be a 15 volt waveform at 2 hertz and we see that here. Here we have this 2 hertz, uh, 2 hertz waveform here and I mean if we could change this if we wanted to I could make it 1. So here we are here with just one cycle in this particular period of time that we've got here and then because the logic level 1 is at 5 hertz and this is 1 hertz it's going to be 5 times the frequency so we've go from logic level 0 logic level 1 logic level 1 logic level 0 logic level 1 logic level 0 logic level 1 logic level 0 logic level 1 logic level 1 so we can this is the, the basic principle of how FSK works and if we change these frequencies, we make this one 10, we see it even more graphically. And we could make that 3. Now, how many cycles we're going to have down here is a function of the speed of this bit stream. And that's something that I'm not going to go into here, just like I haven't addressed these angles on the y-axis. That's not particularly relevant. The whole idea of FSK is that you have one frequency to represent a logic level 1 and another frequency to represent a logic level 2 and in the time domain this is what it looks like. In the frequency domain all we see is the two frequencies here in the frequency domain and as it's said at the moment logic level 1 at 10 hertz and logic level 0 at 3 hertz the way that my Excel spreadsheet's been set up. So if we could just change a few more of these values just to make it even more graphically clear. Yeah. And if I wanted to we could make the first few bits all zeros. We'll make that one there a zero as well. We'll make this one here a one. Make this one here a one. Make this one here a one. And zero. So here we are here. We now have three zeros, three ones, two zeros, and two ones. So this is how FSK works. Thanks for watching.